Welcome to the Springfield Museum of Arts Audio Guide. You are listening to Sherrod Scott talk about specific printmaking processes. All different kinds of printmaking have their own um, charm. And I started with woodblock because there was a good professor in Kyoto that I could study with. It's very, it's very nice, but it's also very frustrating in that you can't get a very fine line. In Talio, you get a, a plate of um, zinc or copper and you'd paint tar on top of it, and then you'd take a needle and scratch in the tar, and wherever you scratched, when you put it in acid, the acid bit into those lines. And so it was exactly the opposite of woodblock. Instead of carving out the white spaces, you were drawing the black. And then when you were ready to print it, you wiped off all the tar and put ink on it, and then wiped off all the ink, and then you put a piece of wet paper on it and stick it through a press. Unlike woodblock, woodblock you can print at home by putting like thin Japanese paper on it and then rubbing it with a wooden spoon or something. You want to do something that's really drawing, you get a lovely stone, litho stone, and then you get a crayon and you draw on it and it's just like charcoal, only not messy. And you can't really erase it, so what you've got is what you print then, but You put acid and various things on it to make the um, crayon marks stick in the stone and to make the white places be anti-ink. And then you keep the white places very, you keep the whole stone wet, but where the ink is, the ink will stay, but where it's white, no ink will stay. (laughs) Anyway, learning to do litho and the etching process took a long time because it's so chemistry-ish. And if you don't get it quite right, then as you roll up the stone with a big roller of ink, it all goes black and there you are, you've drawn this lovely drawing and it's bleh, and you know. So anyway, once you get it mastered, it does make a beautiful drawing. And finally, of course, there's silkscreen. All of the print processes reverse when they print, except for silkscreen. And silkscreen is the wonderful one where everything you do in it, the ink goes right through the screen. So it comes the same way. So you can write letters on the screen and when they are printed, they will be going in the right direction. And the nice thing about silkscreen is it has these nice big colors. So once you have maybe a woodblock or a litho, and it's black and white, but you want some nice color on it, you put the screen right down over your print, and you can see through the screen. And you can draw with pencil and decide what you want blocked out, and then you can put ink on it and color a nice 